The kids finished their lunch and threw away their trash before heading to where Kaya remembered the mall's bathrooms usually were. There was a men's room and a women's room. However, where the family restroom, where parents could take kids for the potty and or diaper changings, was a slightly bigger room marked diapers. There was a line of about half a dozen kids standing in front of the door. The younger kids in line had adults standing by them. Though some of the kids, mostly teens like them, were there without parental supervision. Kaya stood in line. Normally a familiar situation, this was the first time she remembered standing in line here after already going to the bathroom. It wasn't so bad though. Unlike in past experience, where Kaya would be near panicked with pressure on her bladder or bowels, she could just lounge about until her time with nothing more uncomfortable than a damp feeling along her diaper area. The one downside to having people who've already done their business is that there was a definite odour in the air. Kaya couldn't help but smell the dirty diapers of some of the kids in the line. It was a powerful stink. Under most circumstances, the smell might have made her gag. But standing in line, waiting for her own chance to get changed, Kaya realised it didn't really bother her all that much. It was almost as if this was completely natural. Which made her wonder if she was already getting used to this strange new world she'd wound up in. However, while the smell was one thing, the sound was another completely. Standing in line, she heard what sounded much like a fart from someone around her. It sounded as though it came from behind her, but when she looked it was just Cindy and Jonathan, like before. It took a second for Kaya to realise Jonathan was suddenly very red in the face. Not from embarrassment, but from effort. His knees were slightly bent and Kaya thought she heard him grunt. Um. Johnny, she said. With a sigh, Cindy spoke up. Kaya, you know it's pointless to talk to him while he's pooping. Kaya was shocked. It was obvious what he was doing but all the same it hadn't occurred to Kaya until that very moment he was soiling himself. Jonathan finished after a minute or so. He straightened up and looked at his friends as if nothing were wrong. He even resumed his conversation with Cindy Wright from where he had left off. By this point, Kaya had stopped being surprised by such events. Of course they wouldn't find anything wrong with Jonathan pooping in his diaper. For those two, as well as every kid here, Soiling themselves was an everyday occurrence. Kaya suddenly hoped she'd be able to fix this before she wound up experiencing this everyday occurrence. A minute and a half after Jonathan had made his mess, the door to the diaper's room opened and several people walked out. It seemed like a huge crowd but Kaya noticed they walked off in smaller groups of about two or so people. 